Hey everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new fabulous update for Soundfront Pro by Asfar Jaffrey. Now, this was a great app anyway for playing Soundfonts, but he has done some amazingly useful work on this app now. So what we can do now is we can split our keyboard. Now I've got this hooked up to a Korg micro station, but we can split our keyboard uh, up to four zones. Okay. And we can layer up to two sound fonts per zone, controlling the volume, the effects send, and the, the octave of where it is up and down, plus or minus five octaves. Okay, so this is the orchestral arrangement that already comes preloaded for you. Uh, so we'll just have a listen to that. We have, in fact, what we can do is if we press this here, which is the HUD display, we can see what's loaded in. Okay, so we can see that we have, in zone one, we have timpani and slow strings there in zone two we have french horns and a brass section and in zone three we have a flute and an oboe so if we start with zone three So I'm going to show you now exactly how you set that up. You hit the top here, which is your basically your sound management. Here we have the different sound fonts that are available and the presets. So this is one of the sound fonts and there's all the available presets inside the sound fonts. And here is the fantastic way that we can assign our stuff. Okay, so we'll start with a new one, which will give us a blank, blank canvas, if you like. And we will assign, we have organ here selected already so we'll assign that to preset one on zone one okay so will be organ all over and let's assign another let's assign a church organ to zone two okay so let's see what that's got now so now we have a uh, church organ and organ one assigned all across at zone one which i think sounds lovely now let's go to zone two and let's just pick a preset first let's see what we have here let's see okay so let's assign some timpani and we'll assign that there now at the moment as you can see that will be as assigned further up there so if we just grab hold of this we can move it down and then we can adjust where we want it and we can see there so i should have timpani i need to move that up a little bit because the micro station there we go So we have now our organ with our timpani. So you can see how simple it is, and you could go on and on. So you can assign two anywhere you like. Now, what else is new? So we have our we, we had our effects matrix before, so we have uh, set on flanger at the moment. So we have the ability to just lock it now, so it can't accidentally be moved. Now, if you watch the other video, I may show you actually, but if you watch the other video, it shows you how to get other sound fonts in. But I'll quickly run through that as well. So let's go back to there. So these are all the sound fonts that, that come with it, this first bunch here. And you'll see here, user sound fonts. I installed a couple yesterday. So if we select boy choir there, and let's assign boy choir 
to there, which I, I, it's already just done it for me. So I'm going to move that down. And I'm just going to have this play in the middle. Like that. So. And low the volume for the organs in the timpani. So. And if we wanted to save that, then it's as simple as saving it like this. And I'll just call it New Arrangements 3, Save. And then when we go to Load, we can see that our arrangements has appeared at the bottom there. So here's, here's another one. I just loaded up this new arrangement. Quick and fast, and it sounds just great. Now, <clears throat> like I said, you can select any time, and you have your basic controls over. So I have some reverb switched on. I think was really nice volume control for the the overall sort of thing, if you like. And we have this uh, new recording feature as well. Now, the recording feature, if we hit settings here, you can see that I have the metronome on for sound and visual so you can see as well or you could just have a visual um let's just lower the volume now because the clicks are a bit loud this time we can select from different sounds where we want the downbeat and the upbeat okay and also the time signatures so five four six eight seven eight nine eight and twelve eight so it gives you a good wide oh and of course uh three four and two four so it gives you a good wide range of uh, time signatures to play with. You can set the recording time, so I've got it set for five minutes. Uh, and then you can select the polyphony, so how many notes will play. Keyboard size, you can control as well. But I've got it hooked up via MIDI, so it's okay. Uh, so if we, what we could do now, now this new recording function is pretty cool. Your recordings will end up here once you've done them, and it will give you a two-bar counting. Okay, so... Basically, you just hit record. So we stop that now. We shall see that our recording has appeared there. And we can do various things. We can put it into audio copy or paste. Don't forget, this is audio bus compatible. Put it into audio copy or paste. You can email it. Um, you could you can select all on you. You can just play it. But the very cool thing now is that you can overdub. Okay, so you could build up uh, a certain amount of tracks and then email them or, or whatever. But what you do there, this is slightly different now. You hit record and play at the same time. And then you will be able to let's make this more obvious. I'll just select. Um, I'll load another another arrangement. So if I load um, this one, okay. Now I'll select record and play at the same time, so I can overdub a little bit. <laughs> So now if we go there, we still have our original recording, so we haven't destroyed it. And we have our new recording now. And so on and so forth. Now, uh, quickly now, to get our sound fonts inside here. Easiest way to do this from the comfort of your iPad. So we'll just close the program there a sec. And we'll go to, uh, oh, first of all, sorry, yeah, I use Goodreader for this. There are other ways to do it as well, but I, Goodreader works fine for me. So I'm going to go to Safari and 
that's where I live, the Audio Bus Forum. So um, let's go to Hammer Sound, which is a great resource. But make sure you basically just use uh, the ones by Thomas because they're still there. The Sound Font Library, a lot of them are gone now because it's really old. But there are other uh, sources you can get Sound Fonts for free as well. So I'll go to Sound Fonts by Thomas. Okay. And we'll just pick... Um, Synth, ah, synth, we'll pick synth collection or oh, we'll pick pads and textures so we just hit download and it'll say open in if you've got goodreader it will say open in goodreader okay because it's a zip file we can just go straight to goodreader there and there it is hit it and we'll unzip it and it'll it'll end up up here which one was it now this one maybe so there's our th yeah H oh, no that's not that one what was it did? that one pads and textures so once you've located it in your other folder you just long hold and it will say open in so hit open in and then it'll give you a, a, a selected program that'll open it won't open in all of these okay it it just won't but there's SF Pro so you just hit that and here it goes so it's it'll be in there now so if we go to there and there it is Hate Jed, uh, sorry, pads and textures. So let's just set up a new arrangement so we're completely blank here and assign it to preset one. And we'll assign that one to preset one. So there's our ones we've just quickly downloaded in a matter of minutes. we can assign one to preset two as well so we can get a much richer starting to get sorry much richer sort of let's assign that one there so there you go so basically guys that's it you have um your recordings there and then you can use import your stuff from uh, iTunes. And that's another way you can get sound fonts in, by the way, via iTunes file sharing. Um, you can also record with the with the audio mic as well and apply some effects on there. We have different filters here, so we can adjust that in this. We have a delay, which will One thing to point out is that these, this part here, these are global controls, so they will be uh, the same for whatever sound font you you select, if you know what I mean. So if like whatever I change there, these controls will always be the same. So you'll need to adjust them for each one, depending on how you want to work this. All right, guys. So basically, that's the brand new update for Soundfront Pro, which adds a huge amount of control now and a fantastic layering option. Is uh, is just is just awesome. You saw how easy it is to get to get sound fonts in there, but you do get an absolute stack of great sound fonts. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later.